Okay, hello Year 9s. This time we're going to talk about gradients. Uh, if I can get this to work. Alright, so we're going to talk about gradients this time. Now a gradient, so gradient, just means the steepness of a line. Okay, so the steepness of the line. You'll have to excuse my awful writing. I'm always so bad at writing on this thing. Uh, okay, so we're going to look at the steepness. Now, the letter we use to represent the gradient is M. Don't really worry about that. It's just M. And the way that we figure out the gradient is, I'll explain this in a minute, is rise over run. So this is the big thing you need to remember. The rise is how high it goes vertically, and the run is how far it goes horizontally. Horizontally. All right, so let's say we have a graph that looks like this, okay? So obviously x goes like this, y is there. Let's put a line like this. Let's say that this point here can be 3, 1, and this point here can be 6, and well, <laughs> it's clearly not to scale, but let's just say that for argument's sake. All right, so this is our line, and we're going to look at how we find the gradient from here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just draw a little bit of a triangle here and we're going to use this to inform our maths. So how far does it rise? So we're going to go from one point to the other point. Now at the start they're going to give you the points but once they stop giving you the points you can pick any two points on the line and it will work. Any two points and you will still get the same answer, okay? So how far high, so how high are we going? Well we're starting, ah stop that. We're starting at 1, because remember that's the y coordinate, and we're climbing up to 2. So how far have we gone? 1. We've only gone one place up. Okay, just one number. How far across have we gone? How far horizontally? Well, we started at 3, we started at 3, and we went across until we ended up at 6. So we've actually gone across 3. So in this case, the gradient is a third. That's okay, sometimes the gradients are going to be fractions, and that is okay. Let's do another example, and this time I'll make the gradient a whole number. Right, this time let's have a steeper line. So let's start here, and we'll make this one, uh, one and two, we'll call this one, and we'll call this point, once again, this is clearly not to scale, we'll call this one two and four. So what we need to do is rise over run. So... What is the rise? How high does it go? Well, we start at 2 and we go up to 4. So we've actually gone up two places. We started at 2 and we go up to 4, so there's 2. Then we're going to find out how far across we go. What is the run? Well, we started at 1 and we ended at 2. So we only went across 1. So the gradient is 2. So that's how you work out the gradient of any line. Um, the gradient, also let's just quickly talk about the gradient of a horizontal line. So if I give you a graph like that and then we just have a line that goes like this, the gradient is actually zero for a horizontal line. But if we talk about a vertical line, if we put a vertical line on here, the gradient we call undefined. That's a fairly complicated answer, so don't really worry about that at this point. But if it's vertical, it is an undefined gradient. If it's horizontal, the gradient is zero because we're measuring steepness. So a flat line doesn't actually have any steepness. So we just call it zero. Whereas a vertical line has an awful lot of steepness, but we can't really measure it by plotting two points because those two points, well, they will sort of cancel each other out and say zero, but it's not zero. So we call it undefined. Don't really worry about it. What you do need to know is this. Rise over run. Oh, wow, that was so awful. Rise over run is what you need to know, okay? So don't forget that and you should be fine. So it's vertical over horizontal. Good luck.